I mean, I guess if uh, if you were looking for a good fight uh, that that you got one tonight, I mean, is that what you were expecting when you, when you first started uh, chasing after this one? Yeah, I felt like Peterson was a, a a guy who gets hit and is willing to hit. So I figured that was the reason why I called him on the first place, and I actually did it in a nice way. And that's why I think there was respect at the end of the fight. There was nothing, um, you know, I wasn't really trying to be, you know, aggressive or mean to him at all, or just make it personal at all. I was just I wanted to fight and. I had lost a fight, I fought, fought Choi and lost him doing it, so I was looking for somebody to fight, and he was a good contender, and so I asked him, and then, you know, then I started chirping at him, and I think that's kind of got, he got in his head a little bit, and, and he seems like a really tough, aggressive guy, so I figured he would bite on it, and sure enough, it did, and, and I think we had fight of the night so far, so hopefully the next few fights aren't as good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the weight miss, obviously, I mean, so there's kind of a little personal battle, right, yeah. that he didn't mean for it to be, and then he missed his weight, too. I'm just curious what that did for you. Did that, did it anger you, or what was it? No, you know, it's funny, because, you know, he hadn't messaged, he hadn't answered any of my messages or any of my call-outs, and, and he had, uh, and finally got the fight, and he finally, uh, accepted the fight so I was like you know what like that's cool at least he's gonna fight me and then I, he posted something about making like a eating a foodie fit or like uh, eating a, 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 a catered meal and I was all like just don't miss weight bro like six weeks out and he's like you sure like to talk shit don't you and I was all like I was like well you missed weight last time and and then uh, he gave me a thumbs up and and then uh uh, I told my wife about that, and she's all, and I was like, I wonder if he shows up and makes weight. And she's like, There's no way he doesn't. Like, he can't just show up and miss weight after that shit. And I'm like, Yeah. And then he shows up, and he's the only guy to miss weight. But, you know, I don't know what the bonus situation is, but that's just, uh, you know, it's just uh, something that's good for me if uh, if they give me the bonus of his bonus. I struggle to think you don't get some kind of extra check of some kind. <laughs> it was a great fight. Uh, I talk about the, the way the fight was going, right? Strong opening round. He kind of yeah. rebounded a little bit. Yes. Uh, I know you like to fight with your hands down, but he was clipping you a little bit. I mean, just what, what was going through your head as this was playing out? Well, yeah, the first round, you know, went as planned. You know, I felt like I was being a bit classier than he was. And I just I think I was quicker off the jump than he was. I think uh, he's just so tough, man. He's durable. He's only been finished one time ever. And uh, I figured he'd be – after the first round, I figured it was just inev inevitable that he was going to get finished. And he just gets stronger and stronger and stronger as the fight was going. And, uh, and, and so in the third round – I shot in on him one time, and uh, he didn't seem to really be worried about it. So I was like, well, next time I do, I'm just going to just really try to bulldoze him over, which I did, and was able to get him down a couple more times. So I was just hoping that was the, the difference in the fight. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you go out for the judges read. They read his name first. You know it's a split decision. They're reading his name first. What's going through your head at that point? Yeah, you know, back in the day, it used to be uh, when a split decision would happen, they would read the winner's name first, and then people caught on to that, so they stopped doing that. But it's still like it's it's still a little bit uh, uh, shitty to hear that person's name first in a split decision because you're like, well, he's already got one. If he wins the net, one of the next two, he's got it. So I'm just hoping and praying. But I felt like I did enough. I looked at my coaches, and obviously being in the fight is different than watching the fight. But looking at my coaches, it seemed like they were confident. And then even talking to his coach and even him himself, it just felt like they knew I won the fight. So I was just hoping that was the way it was. Nice. As you move forward in your career, I mean, like I said, you're on this hot streak, right? I mean, it seems like part of you is just like, I just want to be this exciting fight guy. I mean, you've been in the USC, out of the USC. But do you start all of a sudden at some point go like, eh, let's make a little run at this thing. We're starting to put it together. Or is it more just, hey, man, let's just put on fun fights? Yeah, you know, I've always just been one of the entertaining type of guys. You know, I enjoy that, and I enjoy people enjoying that, you know. I want to come out here and have people be like, oh, my God, you see that fight, Juicy J? It was crazy. Like, I don't want people to talk about the main event. I want to watch them. I want them to talk about my fight. But then again, you got to be smart. You know, Peterson had me hurt in the second round a little bit, and, uh, you know, that's the difference between getting another paycheck. So, for me, you know, financially, it's not smart to be doing that. But at the same time, now that I'm here after the fight, I'm so glad it happened that way. <laughs> Last thing for me, I guess, what's the plan moving forward? I mean, uh, like I said, you, it seems like you're looking for these exciting fights. Are their names already on your radar, or what's, what's the move next? Yeah, you know, I, February 5th, in my mind, is it's always whatever fight I have, is that's the last day of my life. That's all I'm focused on. It's 100% what I'm doing. Um, so I don't really have any, like, ideas of anybody else specifically, but Alex Caceres is always a guy that I felt like would be a fun fight. Um, but he's already booked up, so I'm not sure about that. I mean, I'm just going to go enjoy this and then just, you know, maybe look for somebody that would, you know, be similar to Steven. And, and that was the whole reason why I, put, I called him out in the first place.